Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil VSE tutorial. I got this step from Blender Frenzy who used titles created with geometry notes on top of videos on the video sequencer and the same that can be done with geometry notes or with anything any geometry that you can put on top of your footage you can do with Grease Pencil and that's what we will see today. Before we start I want to tell you about my new class on Skillshare. It is for beginners or intermediate users. I packed in it some of the secrets, some of the tips and tricks I learned in my journey using Blender. It is made of 19 lessons and I may add more lessons to it later. If you don't have a Skillshare account, you can register and get one month for free and be able to watch that class, my previous class, Grease Pencil class and hundreds of other classes on various topics so the first thing you need to do is to import a viewport scene to the video sequencer and that's by going to add and then scene and see here that we have new scene but no other scenes to choose from and that's because we have only one scene and that is this scene and we can't add this scene to itself so you need to create a different scene by going here and creating one using one of these options or you can append a scene from another file. So if you create your overlay, your grease pencil overlay in another file, you can import it to your video editing file. So let's go to the blend file in which our grease pencil object is. I need to change to material preview mode. And now we have this, I have my links. The method I used in my videos is to render a PNG sequence and then add the PNG sequence on top of my footage. But then I didn't know of this method and this is our scene and I renamed it from scene to top links as you can see here. If you hit this arrow to get the drop down you see that I only have one scene and it is called top links. So to rename a scene you go here and you rename it whatever you want. Then I will go back to my video editing file and then I go under file append and I look for my blend file. It's this one top links new. I double click on it and then look for the folder named scene. Double click on it and then you get top links. If you have multiple scenes you select the right scene and then hit append. And now if I go under this drop down I will see that I have my new scene here. So I will go to add scene and add the scene top links. Left click on it and it was added here in the bottom. So I will do G to move it and Y to move it only on the Y axis and that means vertically and move it here. And now let's mute the audio and I have this. And this is it. Now if I go to rendering and I do F12, it will render it correctly even if it is showing like this white here. And if you want to change this while you are editing, you will do N to get the side menu and then go under view here and then scene strip display. You can display it as wireframe, as solid as we see here, as material preview or rendered. Let me go to the other file to show you something. So here in solid, the text is white because we have, let's go under materials. We have a solid stroke that is white. Under material preview, we can see the vertex colors or the color attributes. So the birdie here is blue and the button here is red. And under render preview, we have some effects here that are the shadow behind the text and that is a visual effect under this tab. Three visual effects actually, three shadows I guess. The visual effects are only visible in material preview. Let's go back to the other file. We have solid that is white. We have material preview that shows us the colors and we have rendered preview that shows us the shadows or the visual effects also. But there is something if you have a slow machine like mine here. Let's go to frame one and try to play this and check the frame rate of the video. You see that it's about three, four frames per second. If I go back to frame one and change to material preview and play again, now it's about nine, ten frames per second. And I go back and I change to solid and now I get the full, the regular frame rate and the playback is smooth. Be aware of this if you have a slow machine and only switch to rendered or material preview when you want to check 
if everything looks right and if you select your strip there are also some settings here in the sidebar you can access it using n so you can choose the scene you can choose the camera if you have multiple cameras on your scene you can choose to use the sequencer or the viewport display if you have videos in your sequencer you can choose to show annotations and you can also disable or enable transparency if you disable transparency here you will disable it from your scene so see here it was disabled now everything is white enable again and move the playhead and now it's transparent again and you can also edit your scene inside this file you don't have to go back to this file to edit your grease pencil object but you can create a new workspace here general layout and here you change the scene to top links and we can go to camera view zero we can play it we can change the shading mode and we can edit our grease pencil stroke and animate and do anything we want here and we can also pin this scene here so that when we go back to video editing we have our scene we can rename this one to vsc enter so here we have vsc under rendering we have vsc and under layout we have our top link scene that we can edit here and if you add more scenes let's add another scene file append again let's select this file vsc arrow double click on it look for scene choose arrow and append and we can do add scene and this time choose arrow and i created this arrow here with grease pencil get drawn and then vanishes and we can select the strip we can go here and do s to resize it we can rotate it we can put it wherever we want and have this nice overlay this is not its real color so we can change here from solid to material preview yes it is red let's change to rendered and we have red with this a shadow behind it this yellow shadow looks like a glow and again if you try to play it like this you will get a very low frame rate so we turn this back to solid and we get this and then you can create another workspace choose layout and change here from psc to arrow again to camera view we can change to rendered preview and pin this one so now we have this one pinned here we can name it arrow and this one double click name it top links we have the scene pinned here and here and we have this to render and the render will always render f12 our main scene vsc and we see our arrow here so this was the lesson for today check the channel blender frenzy and subscribe to it if you didn't thanks for watching see you in another video and Peace.